Hi again, everyone. I'm Ali Matthews. This is the Narcissistic Resistance. There is no contribution with this video. I just started seeing the front of this clip, the beginning of this clip on um, Compound Media, Anthony Akumi's podcast. There were they started playing it and I just stopped it. I saw what the original was and I'm like, it's obviously what I think it is based on 16 year old exposes mother's boyfriend for molesting her. Um, so let's see. Cause I only watched the first couple, couple, uh, couple of seconds of this. I keep going through this. I'm not gonna keep coming in my room, but I had to tell my mom. I'm trying to talk to her, but I'm just not gonna keep going out again. If it happens again, I'm just gonna. Right off the bat, note this girl is 16 years old, and look at how her mother is dressed. This is exactly how my mother dressed. This is exactly how Charlene's mother dressed. Skin tight, fucking skin tight skank pants with their fat ass hanging out. He came in my room again. And she's like, what? Is she... So she said again, so obviously this has been a recurring problem. Here we go with this team. Well, I mean, okay, you came in your room and then what? That's as far as I got with the first video, with, with, with the dismissive. This is your 16-year-old daughter, you fucking whore. You fucking whore out for dick and attention. He touched me. Touch you how? How the fuck did he touch you now, she? Like, I, I'm really, for real, at, at this point, you really starting to get on my motherfucking nerves. Like, he is a good man. Here you go with the same bullshit. I thought we had this fucking conversation already. He's a good man. He a good man. Here you go with this bullshit. Again. <clears throat> I don't even want to fucking do this shit no more. So what what else? What what did you want to tell him? Tell him. He touched you. What did you do? What did you do for him to touch you? So it's not even so it's not even that he didn't do it. It's what did my what did you do? My 16-year-old daughter as I'm here sweeping in fucking skank pants with my fat ass fucking showing my the only thing of value I have, my fat ass. And the mother immediately now turns this on her 16 year old daughter. Oh, must be, you must have seduced him. What did you do to my good man? This is a good man, right? This is what you consider a good man, a man that could even could be seduced, even if she's right. A man that could be seduced by a fucking 16 year old. Fuck you. Fucking whore looking for dick and attention. Me too, though. Remember what I was, remember my point on the R. Kelly thing, being racist. Remember that. Remember how the Me Too movement started. It started to help underprivileged black women who are victims of sexual assault. Well, who is sexually assaulting underage black women? It ain't white guys. No, it's black men.
And what was my point in that first video? Where did the black men come from? Are they random, random forcible rapes, grabs off the street? Sometimes, but that's not, that's not the majority of them. It's a family member. It's somebody they know. Somebody who has been brought in by the same black mother who's now screaming fucking me too everywhere. They are complicit in this shit, which was what my point is. They are complicit in the rape and molestation of their own fucking daughters. And now they want to yell me too to try to absolve themselves of this of, of their fucking complicity. Here it is. You're seeing it firsthand. We are seeing come to life how many stories that we've read on my channel from black women of this. Of 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 the black daughter going to the mother and being fucking blamed for the abuse. Here it is. This is an uncommon. To you black women who follow me, this isn't uncommon. This, most times, is your mother. Me too, though, right? I didn't do anything. I was asleep. It was after y'all came back from the club. From the you club, you fucking clubbing whore. Of course, of course she's going to go sh shake that fat ass in the club with a 16-year-old daughter at home. She's shaking her fat ass in the club. Bringing home random dick to go drink it. Doing who knows what, drinking who knows what, smoking who knows what at the club. Coming home all kinds of fucked up so they can have their way with your 16-year-old daughter. But I guess that's okay to her. I guess that's okay. I guess that's the price you got to pay when you're an old whore with a fat ass, okay, to get the guy to have any interest in you. You got to serve up. You got to serve up your 16-year-old daughter to him. Yo dumb ass, every time I look up, you got so last night when, when, when me and him came from the club, he came in your room last night, what did you do? What the fuck was, did you do? I was asleep. Okay, and then he did what? What the fuck did he do? What, what he is do he you? doing? You, when you don't know he's in, so... <clears throat> she, he, she didn't understand she knew he was in the room. She had to. They come home from the club, he disappears and goes where? He's in her room and she doesn't have a fucking clue about it? Bullshit. She's telling her daughter, this is the price you got to pay so I can get my dick. That's what you got to do. You got to take whatever he's going to do to you in your sleep at night so I can shake my fat ass in the club. And have somebody give me some dick and attention. He touched me. Touch you where? Touch me in the wrong places. I I'm sick of this bullshit. For real. This is a good mother. What you man? You run You're sick of this bullshit. You're sick of this. Not your not your 16 year old daughter who's being fucking who's being fucking molested by this by this fucking savage. Fucking animal. Fucking animal does this to a child. Animal. No, you're below animals. An animal will fucking protect its goddamn young. Unbelievable. Around all I'm day, booty shorts. What the fuck was you doing when he came over here and but he came out the room? Why are you mad at me? It's your boyfriend. You my motherfucking daughter. You trying to take my motherfucking man? That's oh. a problem. Am I trying to take? Told you. Told you, it's always a competition, ladies. It's always this is the struggle of the black woman, man, growing up. This is what their mothers have done to them. Put them in competition with them. You're stealing my man with booty shorts on. Look at how she's, look at how she's dressed. 
He's a good man. A good man in the fucking club? At your age, bitch? There's only animals in the club. There's only animals in the club at this point. You came home last night. She's telling you this happened last night. You can't even say that didn't happen because he was with me all night. Because you knew he disappeared. She knows it's going on. That's a problem. Why do you wear them little ass shorts when he's here? You bought him. Okay, I fucking bought him. For you. you but when, a, when my man... What mother buys their 16-year-old daughter fucking booty, booty shorts? Yeah, she wore them for you. For you to wear in front of him to keep him happy. So when he's done with you, so when he can come in and do what he has to do to get it up so he can come fuck me. What are you giving me shit about? That's exactly what's going on here. This poor kid, man. This poor kid. Come up in this motherfucker, you ain't supposed to have it. So home. you gonna believe it? you gonna have it sliding on mine? It ain't got shit to do with size. This is a good motherfucking man. He paid these well, bills. Well, I don't wanna be here, so. Pay these bills, pay for this kitchen and this sterling silver fucking side by side refrigerator and these fucking spandex that I can put on my fat ass. All he wants to do is come into your room at night and touch you for all this. Me too, though, right? Me too, though, right? I'm gonna just call the police. Oh, bitch, call the police. You can get the fuck out of my motherfucking house. I hope, I don't know what happened to this girl. I hope she called the cops. This is obviously going to go viral because this is, looks like it's being picked up by a few different bloggers, YouTubers. It's already, if it's on Compound, then it's got to be out there a little bit. I, it's, I, that's what I'm trying to tell you guys, man. You got you. The societal narcissism is everywhere. Okay, you can't believe what you, what you, what, 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 you got to do some deep digging on this. It's right there. These women are out there screaming, me too, me too, me too, me too. The Me Too movement, Tamika Mallory started to help underprivileged black women who are the victims of sexual assault, who sexually assault black men they know how do the black men they know get access to them in the first place the the mother the same woman who's screaming me too it, with their complicity is giving them access now it's bullshit these women need to be called out this is the plight of the black female their mothers have destroyed them destroyed them destroy their sons and then they want then they want to scream me too to absolve themselves of any complicity for what they have done this woman couldn't even deny that the guy was in the room she couldn't deny it bought her 16 year old daughter booty shorts no she's wearing but he's paying the motherfucking bills right doesn't matter if you get if you get molested as long as the narcissistic mother gets hers. So, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Thank you, everybody, for watching. And if you'd like to get your story on the channel, you'd like to make a contribution, you'd like to sponsor a video for someone who can't afford it and needs help, you know what to do with the PayPal and email links in the description box below. Also, please like and share this video wherever you can. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And be sure to click. I, I, I am so fucked. I am so thrown off by, by what I just. I am just. I've read it. I've read it. 
time after time after time on this fucking channel, but to fucking see it like that. If you want to keep the channel supported, growing, and successful, because this channel survives 100% on contributions from you guys. Without you guys, all this goes away. So if you like what you see here, you want to see more videos like this, you know what to do with the PayPal and email links in the description box below. Also, please like and share this video wherever you can. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't, and be sure to click the subscription bell to be notified of all my video uploads. I'm Ollie Matthews. This has been the Narcissistic Resistance. Take care.